Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to switch from total sales, average sales, and sum of quantity using the V stack, H stack, sum ifs, average ifs, nested if statement, and data validation. So let's get started. Hey, I'm going to implore you to pay attention as we go along and consider subscribing to this channel. If you've not done so, and turn on the bell icon to get a notification when a new video comes up. So let's see our sample data set and what we intend to achieve. Now we have this transaction data set officially stored as an Excel table, and we have in cell M9 a drop down that contains the total sales average sales and sum of quantity now when i come to cell h2 where we have written the single cell formula that performs all the magic we can actually press f2 to put it in the edit mode and this is the bunch of formula that we actually want to write so escape now when i change for instance to Total sales, can you see that the formula automatically updates? Now we have the total sales and we have the total for each of the products. And of course, let's verify the total sales. Now, in the status bar, we have 23,036,976. And of course, that is exactly correct. And of course, we can even verify from here, we have 23,036,000 plus. Now, when I switch, to average sales now it's dynamically updated we have the average sales and the average sales and then let's see the sum of the average sales so the sum is actually 342,315 and that is correct now let's finally for now check the sum of quantity now this is the quantity column in column d and this is the sum of the quantity 46,568 46,568. So this is awesome. And this is a single cell formula. Now let's start from the scratch. So I'm going to come to exercise sheet. And of course, we have the same data set. And we have our three values in the drop down total sales, average sales, and sum of quantities. I'm going to come to cell H2 and deploy equal sign H stack. Now for the H stack, I need to provide the array one. So I actually want to horizontally stack the product. That is the array one comma. And for the array two, I'm going to link that to cell M9 to make it to be dynamic. So when I close the parenthesis and I control enter, we can see we have the product and we have the total sales. So when I switch to, let's say, average sales, it dynamically updates. So come back to the formula. F2 to put it in the edit mode after the equal sign. I want to vertically take this my new array one as the input value for the V stack. Then I'm going to come here, put in a comma, and for the array two, I need the sorted unique value from the product column. So for that, I need to deploy the second H stack, and for the array one. I need a sort function and then the unique dynamic array and I grab the entire column C. Then I close the unique, close the sort, and then we are back to the H stack. So comma. Now for the array two, I'm going to deploy the if function. So I'm going to say if. Now for the logical test, if the value in cell M9 equals to in double quotes total sales. If it's true, I want to run this sum ifs, and then I need the sum range, which is going to be the amount column in column F, comma, and the criteria range one is going to be the product column in column C, comma, and for the criteria one, I need the sorted unique list of the product column. So close the unique, close the sort function, and close the sum ifs. So we are back. To the value if true. Now, when I F9 to evaluate, bam, we have all the values and we have the semicolon simply means we're going to move to the next row at the bottom and so on. Control Z and then let's put in a comma to move to the value if first. Now, I'm going to throw in the second if 
function now we have the nested if statement so for the logical test i want to check the value here are you equal to in double quote sum of quantity sum of quantity close the double quote comma if true i want some ifs and for the sum range since we are dealing with sum of quantity i'm going to grab for the sum range the quantity column in column d comma and for the criteria range one we want the many side for the product comma for the criteria one we want the sorted open the bracket then unique and then i grab the product column so i close the bracket for the unique close for the sort and close for the second sum ifs okay then we are back to the value if true now i'm going to put in a comma now the third one is the average sales definitely we do not need to write in the third if function we can actually just provide value for if first which definitely will be average sales so i can actually say for this if it's going to be average sales i need yet another average ifs function the average ifs function and the average range will remain the amount column in column f comma the criteria range one the many side of the product comma and for the criteria one i need the sort the unique of the product column okay then i close the unique i close the sort and i close the average is and then we can close off the second if and the first if and we are back to h stack now let's just close this momentarily close the h stack and the v stack and let's see control enter that's amazing so we have each of the unique product and then we have the averages for each of the products so let's verify can you see we have three four two three one five now when i switch to let's say the sales amount we can actually see the total is 23 million 36 thousand plus which is in fact accurate now let's verify for the sum of quantity so this should be 46,568. so you can see let's check this one in column d 46,568. now let's come back to the formula now we need the grand total okay so to do that i'm going to f2 to put the formula in the edit mode then i'm going to backspace and then put in a comma to activate the array 3. now for the array 3 i'm going to use h tag and for the array 1 that is what i want to be displayed in cell H17 in double quote. I'm going to put in total sales close the double quote comma and for the array two. I want to use the sum aggregate function. I want to sum all the value in cell F column F. Then I close the sum. I close the H stack and let's just close the um, V stack and control enter. Oh bam! That's all wonderful. So we have the total the total sales okay so now let's deal with the average sales grand total now to do that i'm going to come right after this h tag and deploy a function now the logical test will be if the value in cell m9 equals to in double quote total sales close the double quote comma if it's true i want to run this h tag if this false, I'm going to put the second if function. So if now logical test remain, are you equal to in double quote average sales? Close the double quote, comma. If it's true, I want to use the h tag. And then what do I want to display in array one? I want to display in double quote average sales comma and for the array two i want to use the sum because i'm actually going to aggregate the average total so sum average ifs and for the average range we grab the amount column comma and for the criteria range one we grab the product column comma and for the criteria one we want to use the sort unique and then we grab the product column 
so we can close off the unique sort average ifs and the sum function now we are back you know here so we, i'm going to close this and then we are back to the if function okay so i'm going to put in a comma so since we have you know one if here and the second if here so for the value if force i do not need to throw in the third if statement all i need to do is to just provide the value for the last criteria which is definitely going to be a sum of quantity now to do that i'm going to use another h stack and for the array one i want to display inside double quote sum of quantity close the double quote comma and for the array two i'm going to use the sum aggregate function because i want sum that i want to aggregate all the sum of quantity so sum then i deploy the sum ifs now for the criteria range i need the quantity column in column d comma and for the criteria one i need this many side for the product comma and for the criteria one i need sort unique of the same product column so i can actually close off the unique the sort the sum ifs and the sum formula so let's close the h tag and let's close the second if and the first one and then finally we close the v tag so all things being equal we expect this formula quite a gigantic one to work so control enter oh that's amazing it's working no error whatsoever now let's verify whether it's actually working right so we have the sum of quantity now when i select all these my values you can see that we have 46,568 which is in fact accurate now let's choose or let's switch to total average sales now for the average sales and I grab this entire column and we have the 342315. 342315. Bam! That is wonderful. Finally, let's check the total sales and let's verify. We have 23 million 36,000 plus, and that is absolutely awesome. So we can even create you know our chart, our dynamic chart, select data excluding the grand totals and let's come to the insert and i want to use the column chart let's do 2d and then that is our chart now let's check this out let's test it now when i choose let's say average sales the chart dynamically updates including our data and of course the chart title also updated and it's looking nice when I choose the sum of quantity everything dynamically updates on the chart and on the worksheet so this is how to switch from total sales average sales and the sum of quantity using the V stack H stack some ifs average ifs nested if statement and data validation this has never been possible before in Excel, but with the arrival of these new functions, HTAC and VSTAC that are still in the better channel of M365, you can do a whole lot. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, you can share, and consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.